Hi everybody, Claire here from Rainbow Acrylics. Um, I've just done a painting with this colour, light blue. I've got it everywhere, light blue base, a Dutch pour, um, and I've got some light blue left. So I'm going to do another one. Um, I'm going to use a 30 by 40 centimetre canvas, um, cover the canvas in my pale blue, and then use the same colours to do um, a sort of traditional Dutch pour S-shaped um, pattern on it. Um, so the colours I'm going to use, um, I've got um, phthalo cyanine blue, um, I've got some Montmartre gold, Pepio Studio Acrylics um, iridescent pink and pearl white, and then Amsterdam Caput Mortem violet. So they're the colours I'm going to use. The pale blue colour I've mixed up um, is a mixture of Amsterdam white and Amsterdam sky blue. I've mixed them 50-50, white and sky blue. So it's a really pale, subtle colour. It's gorgeous. Um, all of my paints are mixed with Fluoritrol, UK Fluoritrol. I've mixed them two parts Fluoritrol to one part paint to one and a half parts water, except for the metallics, which I've mixed two parts water because it's a bit thicker, so just had to thin it down slightly more. Um, so let's get started, I'm quite excited. So the first thing I'm going to do is cover my canvas um, in the base colour. So this is the blue base. Um, it's nice and runny, if you can see that, that consistency there, nice and runny, so let's cover it in this first of all. Right, so I'm going to lay my colours down. Um, for maximum contrast, I'm going to start with the dark blue. I'm going to do the sort of traditional S shape across the canvas. And I'm going to put the colours down on, the, on here in the same order that I used, did for the previous pour when I did the bouquet of flowers. Right, is that enough? I'm going to go for a tiny bit more. Right, I'm not flooding the canvas, I'm not adding any more, pa uh, any more pale blue, I'm just going to blow with my hairdryer now from here. So I'm going to start in the centre, the most empty space at the moment is up here. So this is where I'm going to blow to first, I'm going to blow in that direction. goodness this is gorgeous wow the colors are amazing that dark blue phthalo uh what's it called cyanine blue what's it called phthalo cyanine blue this one here amazing amazing color because when it mixes with the lighter colors you get this kind of electric shocking blue you've got it there you've got it here you've got the subtle shimmer from the gold and from the pink 
and that deep pink, that um, Caput Morton Violet, the contrast that that gives is gorgeous. Wow. Right, only bit I'm not happy with um, is here. I've got this blank spot here and I don't like it. I've got other blank spots, but this one, it just doesn't seem to match because this corner is covered. So what do I do about it? Um, I think I'm just going to try blowing with my mouth to see if I can fix that. Not really, there's not enough paint there. I'm tempted actually to leave it because I think if I interfere with it, I might wreck it. I think I'm gonna do just some very gentle blowing around the edges of these petals, just to soften them slightly. Right, that's worked because look, I've actually just now hidden that massive gap. That's gone over the edge, which is the same as this side. So it actually matches now. So I'm actually yeah, pretty happy with that. I'm just gonna soften some of these other edges. Right, let's give this a really good torch. I'm actually super, super excited to see what will happen now as I torch this. Right, I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute. And let the cells appear. So it's been about five, 10 minutes now. Um, I just left it so that the cells could um, develop a little bit, which they have. Um, so let me take you in for a close up. Um, it is so pretty. I love the colors together. There's some really, really beautiful um, and interesting patterns. Um, it's just lovely where, where the paint interacts together. Look at that little collection of cells. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, can you see, I don't know if you can, no, there's a nice band of shimmer across there where that pink is. Um, that's an interesting section. That looks like the base colour, but I don't think it is. I think it's the pearl white, actually, that's showing through. In the top corner. 
really pleased with it. I used quite a lot of paint in this, in the design, um, and I think that shows because the colour goes more or less to the edges, which I'm quite happy with. So if you're wanting more minimal painting, um, I've overdone it, but actually I, I like the colour going all the way to the, to the edges. Um, I cannot wait for this to dry. I think the colours are just going to look absolutely gorgeous together. And the gold, I love the gold in there. It just adds that different dimension. It somehow just makes it a bit fresher. Edges, really happy with my edges as well. Great, I'll be back when it's dry. Here it is dry. Um, it's gorgeous, I love it. I've never done this pale blue base before and I really like it. So on a pale wall, a white wall, it will just look great. Um, the colours are absolutely fab. Um, can you see all of the shimmer? Can you see all of the iridescent colours there? Let me pick it up and just try and show you. There you go. You get you can get a bit of an idea there of the, the shimmer. It, the, the video really doesn't do it justice. The shimmer is absolutely gorgeous. Um, let me take you in for a, a close-up. Um, the cells... Are gorgeous it's just it's just delicate but dramatic at the same time the colors are quite dramatic that deep violet um, and also the the dark blue they're quite dramatic colors against the um, the pale blue but also it's very delicate it's very um, sort of floaty and pretty um, looking very 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 delicate edges to the the petals some lovely lovely um, cells so really happy really pleased with this piece really fun piece to do just so happy with the colors great thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe to my channel um, and let me know what you think please leave comments um, i would love to know what you think of this great take care everyone bye